We have week two sleeper hitters and pitchers next on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FPT in 5. As always, make sure to follow and stream us on Spotify. Today is Saturday, April 9th. I am Frank Stanfield, joined by Scott White, and we're headed into week two. This is for people setting their lineups on Monday, April 11th through Sunday, April 17th. Two teams with five games next week, the Diamondbacks and the Astros. Then we have 14 other teams with seven games in week two. Scott, who are some sleeper pitchers you're looking at? First one to point out, we're looking ahead here, so things could obviously change. Just in the time since uh, I sent you this list and we started recording, things changed for Tony Gonsolin, who was originally in line for two starts. Dodgers rearranged their rotation. I still like him as a sleeper against Cincinnati, but not as much as if he was making two starts. Some two-star pitchers I do like include Matt Brash, the rookie, making his major league debut debut at the White Sox and then getting the Astros. Tough matchups, but I think the skill level is really high for him. Nestor Cortez, who was strong for the Yankees down the stretch last season. Bipolar matchups here, Blue Jays, Orioles. If you want a two-star guy, he's among the better options, I think. Dakota Hudson, two really good matchups, Pittsburgh and Milwaukee. Uh, But he's not going to give you a lot of strikeouts. He's more of a ground ball pitcher. Still, seems usable. And Waskari Noah against the Nationals at the Padres. You know, if you're looking for volume. I'm not saying any of these guys are must-starts, but they're... Uh, you know, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you're heavy into streaming, these are some of the names you consider. A few one-start options, Carlos Carrasco against the Diamondbacks, hopeful of a rebound season for him. I think we will see him take a turn before this, so, you know, that might weigh on your decision. And Jordan Montgomery at the Orioles. All right, let's, let's go over to the hitter side of things here, Scotty. Who are some names that you like who are rostered in less than 70% of CBS Leagues? Yeah, so the Rockies have seven, or how many games are they playing at home? They're playing two games at Texas against bad pitchers, and then uh, the other four are at home against the Cubs. More bad pitchers, so I like Randall Grichik to take advantage. Connor Joe, to a lesser extent, not sure he'll be in the lineup every day, but I think he's a good hitter and can take advantage of those matchups when he is. I love Andrew McCutcheon this week. He crushed lefties last year. Brewers have four of those on the schedule in their seven games. And I think he's healthier this year, too. So I kind of like him as a sleeper in a general sense. The Tigers have good matchups this week against the Red Sox and Royals in seven games. So Robbie Grossman, Jonathan Scope, Jamer Candelario, I think they all make for good sleepers. And uh, Ian Happ, uh, the Cubs have the best matchup of of all. They're They're the team traveling to Colorado for those four games. Ian Happ had a good opening day and has some power to take advantage. So I would consider him a sleeper hitter as well. All right, and the teams with the best hitter matchups overall in Week 2, the Cubs, the Pirates, the Tigers, the Rockies, and the Brewers. The teams with the worst hitter matchups include the Cincinnati Reds, the Phillies, the Diamondbacks, the Giants, and the Guardians. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, your smart speakers, or anywhere else podcasts are found. And thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. We'll be back again on Monday morning. Bye-bye. (laughs) 